are live. And people are starting to file in. I'm Raleigh Brown. And this is another in a long, 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 long series of curve flattening concerts. And Sue Kohath, first in. Hey, baby. And uh, I am prompt. Michael Tiersen, Kit Serikaku, Andreas Postler. I'm going to do a little name reading right here at the beginning. So the, give people time to file in. Margot Lemieux is here. Terry Smith, Donna Greenberg, Carol Pred, Jay Dusenberry, Linda Pasqua Blaze, who made me homemade ice cream. Bless your heart. Michelle Benjamin, Kenny Ulancey, Mike Verbeck, Nancy Daynard, Charlie Bryant, Beelzebubba, uh, Joyce Goldberg. They're going by so fast I can't read them here. Michael DeSantis, I have to turn the sound down. Claude Galinsky, my cookie man and friend. Debbie Lipster of Asayo, Beverly Smith, Renee Blaker, Marshall O, Michelle Lamb, who is my, what are you, my niece? I guess you're my niece. Um, Paul Sykes, hey man. Uh, Nancy Lefton, the Kokomo Kid, lots of people, lots of friends, Mary Flower and Denny Ryan, and Tom Dietz and Bob Walker and Pamela Blake. And uh, man, we already have a big crowd here for some reason. I, I guess tragedy draws uh, uh, people's attention. Cozy Sheridan, hi Cozy, I'm gonna do one of your songs today. Um, Alan Kane, Steve Davidson, so stick around Cozy. <laughs> Ann Caston, Ben Layden, Diane Holbrook, Gary Wingard, Debbie Moore, Jim Moore, no relation, I don't think. Mariana Eckert, Massimo Matera, Jill Chernick, who is the mother of Michelle Lamb, and therefore my sister-in-law, uh, Lou Gonzalez from Kent Days, Charlie Koch, who is the husband of Cozy Sheridan, uh, Ellen O'Brien, who's a guitar student of mine, Someday I'm just going to sit here for a while. Don Ross. Hey, Don. Don Ross is a monster guitar player and is the only, I believe he's still the only guy who has ever won the National Finger Picking Championships twice. And I was there the, the year he won it the second time, and I did not. Boy, was I pissed. No, I wasn't really pissed. I was just disappointed. And, I was, and, and the right guy won, so it was all okay. Susie Burke, my love. Ann Mintz, Donna, Donna, Zach Beal. Okay, so it's getting big here. 124 people. It's the biggest crowd we've ever had by a lot. So let me start. I want to start by, um, I'm going to talk a little bit. I wanted to wait till you all filed in and took your seats. And, and the first thing I need to say for anybody who did not hear it is that yesterday morning, very early, my dear wife, Janice, of... Um, uh, we were married for five years, but we had had a 32-year whirlwind courtship first. And uh, um, she passed away after a long illness. Um, and uh, you've all said so many nice things about her, all of which are true. She just was an extraordinary person who it was my great good fortune to, to meet and um, and the fact that we were the right people for each other, and that was borne out over the years. So, um, um, so the first thing to know is yes, Jan passed away yesterday, very peacefully, just the way she wanted it. I'm sure, you know, she lived a life. She made choices about treatment that some people might have taken issue with, but she went out the way she wanted to go out. She was functional and happy and not having any troubles to speak of until about three weeks before she passed away. And then she had to go that, that route, uh, that walk that rocky road. And uh, I tried to walk it with her as much as I could, and now she's gone. So the second thing I want to say is I'm okay. Like, you, you may wonder why I'm here doing a concert today. Um, 
I feel like uh, um, starting in March, I started doing these concerts. And part of, I didn't realize it at the time, but part of the reason of doing it was that they nourished me and helped prepare me for what happened yesterday. And um, uh, that whole time, and especially the last month or two, I felt like I was trying to do homework, the homework that you do to get ready for a big test. And if you do your homework, then you'll have a chance of doing okay on the test. The test was yesterday morning. And um, I think, uh, I feel like if, the, if, if my grade is how I feel, I feel pretty good, you know. And I'm mourning, but I'm also happy that Jan is out of suffering. And I don't want to spend the whole show today talking. So, um, so I wanted to say those things. And, and uh, you know, doing this concert today is a blessing for me to be with you all and have you, so many of you here. Um, and I will try to make it uh, entertaining. Rich O'Connell, I'm glad to see you here. And Donna Zach and, uh, and all those other last names you've had over the years. And Bunny Barnes and Eric Bass and Pierce Salguero. Pierce, when I was teaching acupuncture, Pierce was my go-to guy for, for Chinese uh, medical history. Great, great uh, guy. He's actually Dr. Salguero. And uh, Kate Petrello, the, the usuals are here, the, the regulars, my, my posse. And uh, Liz Carabell, or Car I don't know how to pronounce your last name, Liz, uh, but I know who you are. And um, Karen Beatty, Karen Beatty was Jan's best friend ever. And um, uh, Peter Zerblis, all you guys, Kokomo Kid, Lucy Oliverio Granat. Anyhow, <laughs> you're welcome, Don. And uh, I don't know who that is calling, but they're just going to have to wait. So let's have some music. Wait till that stops ringing. That should take care of it. Now, if you could be so kind to help me find my mind, I want to thank you in advance. Know this before you start. My soul's been torn apart. I lost my mind in a wild romance My future is my past My memories will last And I live to love the days gone by Each day that comes and goes Is like the one before I lost my mind, is lost until the day that I die. Now words would fail me if I tried to describe her. Though I know she's not what she should have been. She was a devil with the face of an angel. She was sweet and cruel. Cruel and sweet as homemade sin. So if you could be so kind to help me find my mind, I want to thank you in advance. Know this before you start. My soul's been torn apart. I lost my mind. In a wild romance. It's a wild 37 year romance made me lose my mind. I want to mention that uh, uh, months ago, T.J. Colatrella, who's who might be on here, 
um, uh, sent me a note. People do this sometimes, and I appreciate it. It's good. He said, you know, you could really kill this uh, Percy Mayfield song, Lost Mind. And uh, so I said, okay, and I looked it up, and I thought, yeah, that was a great song, but I, I didn't really have time to work on it then. And so little by little, I've, I've gotten around to it. And uh, so special thanks to TJ. My friends, uh, you are all part of this process, and it helps to have you here. And I try to... Uh, I try <laughs> Don, you got to... You got to slow down there, bud. Uh, I tried to, uh, you know, check in here, see if there's anything I need to answer. If I have to answer for anything. But today, this is especially good, big. So. So Don's writing a bunch of interesting stuff on there. You guys can bring it, read it on the thing while I sing these these uh, oddly relevant or irrelevant tunes to my current situation. Now this one's relevant to all of ours, and and uh, and it's a uh, it's a Mose Allison tune. You can't go far wrong if you're doing a Mose Allison tune, right? Ever since the world ended I don't go out as much People that I once befriended You know they just don't bother To stay in touch Now things that used to seem so splendid They just don't matter today well, it's just as well the world ended You know it wasn't working anyway And ever since the world ended There's no more Bible Belt Remember how we all pretended Lying about the way we felt. Yeah, every rule has been amended. And there ain't no one keeping score. It's just as well that the world ended. We couldn't have taken much more. Since the world ended, there's no more black and white. And ever since we all got blended, we got no more reason to fuss and fight. Dogmas that we once defended, my dogmas around here somewhere, she's laying over there. They just don't matter, no longer seem worthwhile Ever since the world ended I face the future With a smile Allison ever since the world ended 
very prescient, don't you think? <laughs> I've mentioned this before, we saw Moe's uh, at a, a little club in New Hope when we lived over in New Hope, Pennsylvania, and uh, he came and played in a little a place called Odette's, which was a legendary kind of cabaret room, really small, you know, about, probably about the size of this room, which you can't see all of, but there's not all, a whole lot of all to see. <laughs> and he was just great. He was tremendous. And then I talked to him between sets, and I didn't know he was tiny. He was a very, he was just this little slender guy. He was probably about five foot five or something like that. And when I, you know, like he was tinier than me, and I'm five seven, you know. So I'm going to play you an instrumental, uh, and uh, this is, I'm playing this kind of for Jan, I think, today. I think it's a tune she liked, and it's a, it's a tune I think of as being kind of the most peaceful gentle instrumental I ever wrote. So it's called Sunday Morning, but we'll play it a day early here. <laughs> Sunday morning, the title cut of the Raleigh Brown Sunday morning CD. For those of you who remember CDs, <laughs> I was talking to my friend Jim Campbell, and Jim uh, was one of the people who started a station up in, uh, in Maine called WERU. It's a public radio station there. He wrote some of the early grants. But he said he was doing some archival work, and, and, uh, and he was taking all this stuff on tape and transferring it digitally. And he'd hired a young intern who was like just out of college um, to come in and help with the process. And he said he had, a, you know, he had everything set up there. He had reel to reel and he had a cassette player and he had, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, like half track and like everything. So they, they had all these different kinds of tapes. And when he went to have the, the intern work on uh, the cassettes, she didn't know what a cassette was. <laughs> she didn't know what a cassette tape was. <laughs> oh, God, we're getting old here. So, um, what, what can I tell you more before I play this last song? Number one, uh, I will be back tomorrow morning at 10.30, and I have, I have, uh, I feel like I have gone uh, through the looking glass from a life I was living for the last two years actually since Jan was diagnosed and especially this last year and as much as uh, um, as I, I uh, 
as much as I will miss her and as much as my love for her is undying, um, this is also a release. I have now moved into another part of my life and I intend to embrace that part of my life. And uh, part of that is to keep playing music for you guys. And I can't, you know, it, it would take me a, a year if I tried to thank each of you individually, either those of you who are here or people who have given to the GoFund me or whatever people have done, people who have written me letters, people have sent cards to Janice, people have dropped food off in my driveway, people have, you name it, you know, it's just been unbelievable. Um, so I thank you all. All I can do is thank you all and tell you I feel so much gratitude. And uh, gratitude for having had Jan in my life for all those years and gratitude for having all you guys in my life now. And gratitude uh, also, um, to my friends who are great songwriters and singers and, and inspire me in so many ways. And uh, this song I find very inspiring. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to not fuck it up. So tomorrow I'll be here at 1030. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, uh, well, tomorrow too at 10 a.m. the Kokomo Kid will be on. He's, uh, uh, we'll see how he responds to this if he's here. He's opening for me tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, um, uh, so that's 10 o'clock, Kokomo Kid, who is also known as Guy Davis, the great blues guitarist, singer, songwriter, um, uh, rock contour, and coffee drinker, big coffee drinker. And uh, that's why it's called Coffee with Kokomo. And on Monday, fr Wednesday, Friday, Alex Bevan, my buddy from uh, 1968 on, and uh, Alex is, uh, does a stream for about an hour, actually, at 3.30, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and he's also a great songwriter, singer. You know, you, those of you who've been here before already know all of this. B-E-V-A-N, Bevan, look him up. On Tuesday morning, Cozy Sheridan and Charlie Koch do their 10.30 stream. And then I'll be back Tuesday at 3. And th so then I'll announce anything else I want to announce. This is Cozy's song. She has a gift for writing songs about these dark times that somehow still are optimistic. And so I, I appreciate that tremendously. And this is one of them. It's going to get better someday, somehow. These will be the hard times we remember in some happier now. It's going to get better someday, somehow. And there's going to be good times, they'll be coming soon. This will be the dark hall that led to a brighter it's going to be good times someday, somehow. And there's going to be a bluebird in a clear blue sky. Happiness will land on your shoulder in some coming by and by. You're going to be the bluebird someday, somehow. Sunny, there'll be sunny afternoons. The mornings will open like a spring flower in bloom. We'll be sitting in the shade someday, somehow. It's gonna get better someday, somehow. These will be the hard times we'll remember in some happier now. It's gonna get better 
someday, somehow, someday, somehow, someday, someday. Cozy Sheridan, it's going to get better. And it will. It already is getting better. One of my, uh, 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 somebody I talked to who's the head of a rest home uh, told me today that they, they have been instructed that they will all be getting the vaccine in, in January. Everyone on the staff of rest homes and medical facilities will be uh, getting the vaccine for COVID-19. So who knows how long it'll be before we're all getting that. And maybe we can take our masks off or maybe leave them on for a while, go out in public. We might be able to shake hands. We might be able to sit at a restaurant and eat food together again. Not too much food, because one of the things I've learned from the pandemic is restaurant food has a whole lot of fat in it. And if you cook at home, you lose 14 pounds like I have <laughs> without even trying. <laughs> So um, thank you so much for coming by today. I am, as always, uh, I feel very privileged to have you with me, and I, I love you all um, and with a kind of universal love, not necessarily romantic love, although, you know, you never know. I'm a free man now. Who knows? Um, nah, I'm going to take it easy on that one. And uh, um, uh, stay safe because the vaccine isn't here yet and stay sane if you can. I'm trying and I'm, I think I'm doing okay. And um, uh, if you get cranky, take a nap. And I will see you tomorrow morning at 10.30. Thanks for coming.